am Brendan Miniter, editor of editorials for the Dallas Morning News. We are proud to be recognized by New Friends New Life. We support the fight against human and sex trafficking by reporting on incidents within the DFW area, raising awareness in the local community. Our goal is to make sure that people understand the humans involved, that these are real people facing real horrors, that these crimes are happening right here in our own backyards. I'm Dr. Noelle Bush, Armandadas, the director of the Institute on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault, headquartered in Austin, Texas. On behalf of everyone on our team, I really want to express how honored we are to be recognized by New Friends, New Life. IDVSA has led groundbreaking research, partnering with practitioners to provide benchmarks on the extent of human trafficking in Texas. The research conducted by the Institute allows Texas lawmakers to assess those current services, responses, and unmet needs so that they can consider policy recommendations. IDVSA depends on partners like New Friends New Life, and we are all united in meeting the needs of survivors. I'm Becca Stevens, founder and president of Thistle Farms, headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee. On behalf of everyone at our organization, I want to express how proud we are to be recognized by new friends, new life. Thistle Farms' mission is to heal women survivors of trafficking, prostitution, and addiction. We offer housing, medical care, therapy, education, and job training free of charge for up to 32 women for two years. Residents and graduates are employed in one of the divisions of our diverse justice enterprise, including a natural body and home product company, Cafe, and Thistle Farms Global, where we connect women producers in more than 20 countries to customers. Now, more than 50 organizations across the country are replicating our housing model through an aligned national network that currently offers more than 200 beds for women seeking sanctuary from the streets. I have been humbled by the stories that I hear of women who don't see this as a second chance, but see it as a first chance. I'm Victor Boutros, founder of the Human Trafficking Institute. We partner with governments around the world to help them stop trafficking at its source, which is really the trafficker. First, We'll help them vet and build teams of police and prosecutors who are going to focus full-time on human trafficking enforcement. Second, we take those units and put them through a mini law enforcement academy where we walk them through the strategies to be effective at each stage of the process. And then third, we embed former FBI agents, former prosecutors who move to that partner country and start showing up for work every day in the same office with those specialized units and ultimately create the transparency and accountability that ensures there's no corruption in that unit. One of the things I'm most excited about is our progress in Belize. We've already had a couple of arrests this year from this new specialized unit. It is possible to reduce and eliminate sex trafficking. And I think that surprises a lot of people when we write about it. It will end now in the state of Texas, and we will be leaders on this. I know that what new friends, new life are doing to help women will save lives. I stand for her. I stand for her. We stand for her. Not our children. Not our city. 